Coming to you straight from the Thunderdome in Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. We're ready for a good game of NFL football, but we're here with a team that literally eats their opponents, so we may have to sell for carnage instead. Hey, that's what they paid for, Grim. I'm pretty sure they're okay with that. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The San Francisco 49ers battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the NFL, because whatever they juice that player with to make him run that fast can't be legal. Second down and a lot. got crushed and it's first and ten and he pounds the ball into the defense picking up seven Second and three. Third down and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway exit five. First and two. into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? And they line up for the extra point. right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, and he looks 
like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe off the dime. A burn returner was made by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. team last week I lost so much money on him not to mention my kneecaps my loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time Graham hey kids do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses I do oh big catch big run big touchdown the coach isn't liking that call oh his head just exploded First down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down in a mile. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down in forever. Not going down. Pow! With the brain scrambler.
It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. tackle when his brain is unscrambled he'll be thinking about that hit yeah most likely in a convalescent home and it's first and ten the quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back he can't get rid of it it's like me and these crabs grim yep the deep well one yard is better than nothing but not by much And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. Second down and nine. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. This guy is going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. He refuses to go down. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. It's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. 
The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He's at the 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. That is such bullshit. This game is bucket red. I tell you the pro. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, yeah, Fred. Yeah. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Yeah. First down in less than a year. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and three. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. T5 Bo Bum. Stomp him into the ground, the dirty bum. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Bricks, it's the two minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? And it's first and ten. Two-yard run before he stopped. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Third down and three. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. No matter how many years in the league, I gotta tell you, this don't get any less scary. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First 
first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And it's first and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, this scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. No receivers open, so the QB just threw the ball away. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. This guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsanto Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Second down and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third down and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. 
And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate the cube. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grim you're right and that pass play is good for eight yards second down and two But this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home. Buried in the dirt. <laughs> Second down in a lot. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat, Mark. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Second down and six. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, okay, no, I can't. Come on, I have to get on the ground. Get on the They want more points, so they're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Come on, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. It's a brutal hit. Second and three. And he just 
just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. He did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. What a hit that was. <laughs> and it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Sandwich. Hey man, I was hanging on the panel now. You know what <laughs> and it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down and, well, good luck. Defense, boom, to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Kick him, make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was Tripod Jenkins, the one with the big schlong. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. Chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And he 
sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Hey, okay, no, bad kill. Come on, get up, get on, get up, get on, get on. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. His big ass will probably... It looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. Downhill running there as he picks up the first down. First down to seven. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Shave a few days off his life. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and ten. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Second down and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments, Roy Rage brings out the worst in anyone. He broke free and has open field in front of him. When skeletons make it to the end zone in one piece, that's always cause for celebration. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. away from that tackle. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second 
second down and seven. Third down, and the punter is warming up. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rex. Very smart. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. gets paid way too much to kick like that. The return man catches the ball. He zigged when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. And it's first and ten. a gain of 10 yards. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pitchkin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. And it's first and ten. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's yes, right. What you talking about? And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and six. <laughs> He picks up five on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes.
here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chip. Pow! With the brain scrambler. <laughs> the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Uh, we all, Grim. Uh, we all. for the first down. Yeah, man, the team's on schedule now. They only have... <laughs> the Purple Mutant Eaters crush the opposition and are victorious today. They come up big today with a solid win and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Now I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.